Hello and welcome to this video on odds ratio. In next 5 minutes we will see what is odds ratio, where is it used, and how to use it in, R. If this is of interest to you, then keep watching. The odds ratio also known as, OR is mainly used in medical and social science research. It is used in epidemiology, and to express the results of clinical trials, and survey research such as in case control studies. So, let's get started. An odds ratio, OR, is a measure of association between an exposure and an outcome. As the name, odds ratio suggests, that we are measuring the odds of one event with the odds of another event. So, an odds ratio represents the odds, that an outcome will occur with a particular exposure, compared to the odds of the outcome occurring without that exposure. Okay. To understand the concept, let's assume that we are going to do a randomized controlled trial of a drug. We have selected these 20 people who have agreed to participate in our trial. Now, we randomly select the participants for our intervention group and the control group. The intervention group will actually get the real drug, which is being tested. The control group will not receive the real drug, but will get some placebo. Over the period of our trial, we observed the participants in both the groups. While the intervention group were getting the drug of interest, the control group were not getting anything, or were getting the placebo drug. All participants were observed, we noticed that in both groups some of the participants remained healthy, and some developed the disease. Now, we can calculate the odds ratio, we divide the number of individuals who developed the disease with the number of healthy individuals. We repeat the same calculation with the control group also. Now, we have odds for both the groups. If we divide the first value with the second we get the ratio of our odds. And this is our odds ratio. As promised at the beginning of this video, now we will see how to calculate the odds ratio using RStudio. We will be using these packages. To install packages in RStudio, click on the Packages tab. Enter the name of the package. And click on Install. Here is the command for calculating the odds ratio. Let's see how to get the numbers which we need to plug into the command. To make it easy to understand, let me bring the screenshot of our randomized control trial results. The first value, A, is the number of individuals who got the disease in our exposed group, I mean exposed to the drug in this example. Next value, B, is the number of individuals who got the disease in our non-exposed group, this is the control group who were not exposed to the drug of interest. Value, C, is the number of individuals who were healthy and exposed to the drug. And value, D, is the number of individuals who were healthy but not exposed to the drug. This completes our command. Let's run the command and see the results. OK, let's interpret the output in more detail in the next section. The first thing you notice in the output is the 2 by 2 table, which represents the data which you provided to the odds ratio command. Here is an easy to remember way to appreciate the structure of this table. The actual odds ratio is 0.375. An odds ratio of 1, or close to 1, indicates that the odds of getting the disease in the intervention group is the same as the odds of getting the disease in the control group. Less than 1 indicates that the odds of getting the disease in the intervention group is less than the odds of getting the disease in our control group. The magnitude of the odds ratio is called the strength of the association. The further away an odds ratio is from 1, the more likely it is that the relationship between the exposure and the disease is causal. Let's interpret the actual result now. In our example, we tried to see the effect on using the drug and catching the disease. So our predictive variable is whether the person received or did not receive the drug. And our response variable is the health outcome, whether the individual remained healthy or caught the disease. For a successful drug trial, we obviously want to see if the intervention group had lower odds of getting the disease, compared the control group who did not receive the drug. The calculated odds ratio of 0.375, which is less than 1. This means that using the drug is associated with a decrease of odds of getting the disease. The odds of experiencing the disease in the intervention group is 0.375 times the odds of getting the disease in the control group. We can also say that the odds of getting the disease is reduced by 62.5% if the drug is taken, compared to the odds of getting the disease if the drug is not taken. But can we rely on this result? Let's examine the p-value. Our p-value is 0.3415, which is higher than our cutoff of 
Large p-value suggests that there is high probability that any association suggested by the OR value might be by chance and cannot be associated by the use of drug. The value of 0.3415 also suggests that there are 34.15% chances of this happening. Finally look at the 95% confidence interval. The range of interval sees to be quite large if we compare it the odd ratio of 0.375. We would have been more confident if the range was smaller and if the lower value and the higher value were closer than what we got here. Keeping in mind that the p value is above 0.05, we can say that the results are not statistically significant, and we cannot conclude if the use of drug reduces the odds of getting the disease. The large confidence interval also strengthens our conclusion. Hence, the trial of this drug is not a success. Now, let's see how a successful trial would have looked like. Imagine that we have these numbers in our trial. When we run the odds ratio command, OR value is 0.047 which is much further away from 1, which suggests a high degree of association. Which means that the odds of getting the disease in intervention group are very low compared to the odds of getting the disease in the control group. The p-value is extremely small and much lower to our 0.05 cut off. The 95% confidence interval is also very tight. Considering all this we can say that there is good association between the exposure and the outcome. In other words, the drug trial is a success. I hope you found this information useful and practical. If you like this video, then please subscribe and like this video. See you in our next video.